his first charge, leading to the first Leicester penalty in front of the post. So with the advantage, Dolly back to Nandolo, who still has it. It's a great tackle. George Ford, 3-0 Leicester. It's a tackle. Nally, the captain. Some free air over the ball, and here's Miles Reed explodes over those first couple of meters. Cipriani, oh, that's nicely done and done, and that's brilliantly done back to Fox. And Fox gets it away to Clark, and that is a work of art. Uh, I can't share, but thank There's you. That other pass, but clearly his hands and fingers are backwards. Oh. Tries good, mate. Tries right good. Right up yeah. with play. Big other Leicester blokes trying to do the same. Tom Ellis has got himself in a reasonable position to disrupt things, but to what extent? Leicester still rumbling, still hoping. They have the penalty, they have much more. Muscle leading to the try. In times of trouble penalty advantage. about converting moments in opponents' 22s, and here they are again, Keep playing with the advantage. Cipriani. A little press of the gamble button, and it was worthwhile. And Van Portfleet, with some relief, dots it down. <laughs> the Australian enjoying Welford Road for the first time tonight. His home debut after a club debut at the Gardens. And Danny Cipriani draws the sides together. Leicester 10, Van 10. One or two around us telling the fireworks to pipe down. They, uh, they didn't bother George Ford. And Leicester ahead again, 13-10. Smuggling his way towards the 22, Van Portfleet. And Kelly, oh, and Kelly finds Scott. Scott finds the hole, and Scott scores. Yes, he does release. Well, he's done going and he gets in a position on his feet. That is a penalty the other way, 100%, not 99.9, not because I used to play for Leicester, that's 100% penalty the other way, got it wrong. Thank you. What's happening with all these high balls, neither side finding it that easy to, to gather them at the moment? Yeah, look, for us, it's uh, part of our plan is to be contestable. Leicester want to keep the ball on the field as well, so um, yeah, there's going to be a lot of contestable kicking, but I think, like you see from that one there, where Will Muir gets the ball back, um, it's a good plan for us. Brilliant, Stuart, I know you've waited patiently for us, thank you very much. Cheers. Nick Dolly. Just steadying things at the back and helping to draw the penalty back offside. Needed a bit of communication there. Silence. Well, Leicester have had a 10 point lead before. They've never been able to extend it beyond 10. What happens next after George Ford's latest penalty? So it's really important here. Dunn stays up, doesn't go off his feet. Richards, the latest surge to be repelled, but. This is going to take some stopping. McNally has it. Already been denied one try. Yes! Got him underneath there, but now that's yeah, a try. clear. Yeah, that's good to me, Tim. Yeah, that's good, mate. Stick with your on-field decision. And again, the well boiled lineup taken by Green. And once more, the ferryman driving them towards the line. Bath determined to stop him, and they have done it, but not for long. Ford in the end, on the wide outside, and oh. when muscle doesn't work, the little blokes do. You have to stay tight, they come forward, three on two on the outside, the pass is perfect, yeah, tries kicks off the mass. right tries defenders, good. and George Ford scoots down the outside. Penalty advantage. And then a Jomo. To nobody in particular. And no one expecting it from Bath. Push off no the real kick chase. 21. Danny Cipriani. <laughs> and Welford Road finds its voice. A penalty on its way. Wigglesworth. And then Hegarty testing with the kick. Not far away, however, the insurance of the penalty. Another night where Ford's kicked his kicks. Five to go. 
Leicester 33, about 23. And now Tom Cow and Dickey, Luke's big brother, trying to do the kind of work that his little brother does so often at Sandy Park. It is Tom Cow and Dickey. Butchered the last one with the dummy throw and not sure who is it. It was going to as soon as this one was secure. It had an air of inevitability about it. Joe Hay celebrating. To be the last kick to um, take Leicester into the 40s. Drew in between the posts. Not sure the score reflects Bath's efforts, but it is eight in a row. Final score at Welford Road on fireworks night. Leicester 40, about 23.